Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy J Gaming, and um, um, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be starting to make Blocks Roots content. As you see, I've been a little bit late to the game. I'm level 257, and I've bought Perm Light for 1,150 Robux. As you see here, I have it equipped. But today's video is about buying Perm Buddha. So I'm going to be buying Perm Buddha today, guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. So I was watching a video on Block Fruits, right? And I was looking for the best Perm Fruits to buy. And they put Light at number 12. Even though personally me and a lot of others think that it's the, one of the best or the best for the first C. Buddha is an all-rounder, however. It's great for the first C. And it's even better and better than Light for second and third C. Especially permanent, because um, if you want to um, change Fruits, you can. So, Light and Buddha is like an OP combination. It's just that I've heard that Buddha is a little bit hard to get mastery on, but that's not a big deal since you don't really use the Buddha for fruit. You use like its abilities and you use like its fists, so it's a little bit harder to get mastery on. I currently have combat, but in my next video, I'm gonna be buying Dark Step instead of combat for my new fighting style. So I really encourage you guys to go check that video out when it gets dropped. I'll leave a, I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the pinned comment once it gets dropped. But as I said today, this video is about buying Perm Buddha. I'm, I think I'm ready to buy it. Screw this, let's do it. Oh, goes to Magma. Pretty Magma is also good for first. Yeah, I like it. But here it is. Buddha. Let's do it, guys. Human Buddha fruit. Permanent. I'll have 3,700 Robux. Let's go. I now have Buddha, but as I, as you see, I'm at Mastery 1. How about we go test it out on one of the people? I'm buying this in front of you. This is my first time testing it out. Oh, shoot. This doesn't have Logia, does it? You just be Buddha? I seriously have to level up my Buddha. But, once I start to grind with it, the issue is that when you buy a permanent fruit, it's pretty hard to get mastery on it. Because, for example, on my light, right, I'm level 160 for mastery. Hold on. Let's check. And I have Logia on. So I gotta shop more fruits. And if I were to equip light. Alright. Equipped. Look, I'm level 157. Right? It's so easy. Because look, they can't do any damage. Because I have Logia. So I can just like destroy them as you guys see here. And now if I were to go to my Buddha, my stats are pretty good. And if I go to Perm Buddha right here. Once I get a second C, I'll be able to awaken Buddha. But for now, this will just have to do. It doesn't do a lot of damage. I just need to get it a kill. So I think I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna use my um, light fruit. So I did not know that you can't use two fruits at once. Disable my transformation. Oh, hold on. Let me switch to my Buddha fruit now. I I'm just um prolonging the video to see how good Buddha fruit actually is. Let's see here, hold on. X impact, hold on, I do not have a Why oh, I sold that, I sold that, hold on. But this transform is pretty OP. I need to get one more impact with this.
Alright, alright, I found a way to get lots of mastery really, 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 really quick. Right, so, all I gotta do is use my previous fruit, right? And then, so let's say if I equip light, I can, I can actually get the people really, really, like, oh, I gotta disable my transformation first. Get these people, like, really, 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 really long. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna make it follow me. Let's go get another person. No, oh, I killed it. I killed it. Bruh. I actually hate this. Hold on. Hold on, let me just go back to my Buddha food, hold on. It's so hard to keep on switching, bro. I'm gonna switch back to Buddha. Confirm. Oh shoot, I did not realize. X impact. Hold on, no Z. Leave me alone. Hold on. I want to see how much mastery I get. Cause I think the first few days is gonna be like grinding mastery. Oh no, 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 no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! So Buddha fruit, like it's so hard, cause like my mastery is unimproved and also my impact is not the best. Alright, mastery 33 already. I know a lot of friends. I know a lot of my friends actually play block fruit, so I'm gonna ask them tips on how to actually get Buddha better. And then when I get to second C level 700, I'll finally meet the requirements to actually awaken my Buddha. And that will make it a lot more OP for second C. And it'll help me out. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you see you in my next video where I do some gameplay of Rock Roots and hopefully by Dark Step. See you in the next one guys. Peace out, it's your boy J Gaming.